Are you serious? Are you serious? Great hail, great hail falling in Naples, Italy. Uh, are you serious? Folks, there is some dramatic uh, pictures coming out of uh, Naples, Italy as massive hailstones hitting the Italian coast, which damaged buildings and injured people. There is even some video footage that's emerged of extreme weather conditions hitting the coast around Naples, Italy. Yesterday, hailstones just literally crashed, crashed, splashed into the water in the nearby towns on the coast. And some of them were ping pong size. Some of them were larger. Some hailstones even measured five centimeters in diameter. Windows were smashed, roof tiles damaged, some people and animals injured. Meteorologists uh, uh, said the storm was brought on by a vigorous southward plunge of a jet stream, which carved into the Western Europe, sending a potent upper disturbance into the Italian peninsula. The instability charged up a thunderstorm over the Mediterranean Sea, which swept into Italy and caused this great Hail. Now, can I read two verses from the Bible? It's in Revelation chapter 11. That's the same chapter when it talks about the building of the third temple. It also talks about the two witnesses and talks about the plagues and talks about the prophecies of the plagues and how the, and the droughts and the and the bottomless pit and the and the uh, you know all of the things that's going to happen. And get this, folks. Are you serious? It says in the scriptures, and the nations, verse 18, and the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that, are, that thou shouldest give reward unto their servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and to them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. And the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament. And there were lightnings, and voices, and thunderings, and an earthquake, and great hail. Are you serious? Are you serious? Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. And I'm telling you right now, it's time to get your life together. It's time to get to Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. There isn't no seven different doors. There's not 17 different ways to heaven. There's one way, and Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Have you accepted him as your Savior? He loves you. He cares. He wants to set you free. He wants you to gather his, his redeemed to take the glory. I want you to go with us because you don't want to be left behind to face the wrath of God.